Tombstone was a legendary pit bull known for his strength, agility, and ferocity. He was the undisputed champion, feared by all his opponents and admired by his owners. Tombstone was a respectable pit bull, with a bite capable of crushing bone and tearing flesh. He was used as a sire, and sired many young, with the same heavy mouth trait. The pit bull Tombstone was created by a great breeder of pit bull dogs known as Mr. Don Maloney. Maloney, sold Tombstone, to Mr. R. Petronelli. He sold it when Tombstone was still a puppy. So he was sold, or traded, to Mr. Don Mayfield, which is where he was raised. His father was Maloney's pit bull Teote. Toot was the son of Spike, from Tudor, with the female Black Widow, from Maurice Carver. The Teote was a hard biter, and devastating. He produced dogs, which had this same trait. Another son of Pit Bull T.O.O.T., who was also a great breeder of dogs, especially hard mouths, was Maloney's Pit Bull Davis. Davis sired our champion, Gal Domingo, a four-time combat winner. The champion Cobra, and the champion Pit Bull, the famous Black Saturday. Tombstone's dam, the female speedy Alan Jenna, was a bitch, of scattered breeding. In her blood, she carries the bloodlines of dogs, bred by Pete Sparks, Howard Hainzel, Joe Curvino and L. Tudor. Tombstone, was matched in a fight, once, and after that victory, he was removed from the fighting world, for genetic study. Since, he was available to do the second fight, but he didn't have available opponents. This first fight was against Bobby Hall, and a son of Bullison, winner of two fights, called Bullison Jr. Ed Weaver was promoting a show, and he told Bobby Hall that Mr. Don Mayfield had a male, and that he was open to fight, in the 50-pound weight class. And so Bobby Hall accepted the challenge. Ironically, Mr. Bobby Hall was preparing Bully Son Jr. at Mayfield's house. And at the same time, Don was preparing Tombstone for this fight. The fight was incredible. In the first hour of the fight, Tombstone was on defense. Bully Son Jr. was on the attack and trying to immobilize Tombstone. At the one hour mark of the fight, everything is the same. Both dogs are down at the hour and nine minute mark. At one hour and fourteen minutes, a scratch is called. Tombstone, in the attack, makes a strong exit. Bobby Hall concedes victory in one hour and twenty-five minutes of fighting. And so the Pitbull Tombstone, became, a dog, combat winner. Shortly after that fight, Mr. P.A.T. Patrick, paid a visit to Mayfield. He was hoping to buy some good dogs, and Mr. Mayfield offered him Pitbull Tombstone. Mr. P.A.T. Patrick, bought Tombstone. He left Tombstone, with Mr. Mayfield, for him to fight again. But that fight didn't happen. He remained in Mayfield for 14 months, hoping for a new fight. After that time, Mr. P.A.T. Patrick asked Mr. Mayfield to send Tombstone to him. Tombstone, upon arriving in Mr. P.A.T. Patrick's yard, was crossed, with about 15 bitches. Due to him being a dog, long-legged, and lean-looking, and from a scattered lineage. He was not much sought after as a stud. Of his few crossings, one highlighted, was made with a female, called Red Baby, she is the daughter of Indian Bolio. Out of that litter, champion dogs were born, starting with Pitbull Tonka, Pitbull Crash, and Uptown Snubby. He also produced champion Reno, Dozer, and Grande champion Espero. 
This is just to name a few descendants. Tombstone ended up dying a while later, of heartworms. Back then, the cure was still worse than the disease. Tombstone, emerged triumphant as the true champion, proving their indomitable strength, and their unwavering spirit. His name has echoed down the halls of dog history, and as a supreme example of courage and determination. But Tombstone's story doesn't end there. His legacy expanded through his offspring, a bloodline that not only inherited his ability to fight, but also his nobility and loyalty. The children of Tombstone, following in his footsteps, and competing in the world of arenas with the same passion, and the same fearlessness, that he once demonstrated. The emotional audience rises to applaud not only the canine hero, but also the spirit of resilience and perseverance that he embodied. The story of Tombstone, the dog that won the battle, and transmitted this ability to his descendants. It will remain engraved, as a testament to the power and bond between humans and animals. His name will shine forever in the gallery of legends, reminding everyone that true greatness lies in the determination to never give up. And no matter what challenges life may present. My name is Rodolfo Luis, see also the history of the Pit Bull Grand Champion, Zebo. I went.